July 23rd. Pastor is saying to us, receive his word. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 of the Amplified Classic. For the word that God speaks is alive and full of power, making it active, operative, energizing, and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating to the dividing line of the breath of life, soul, and the immortal spirit, and of joints and marrow of the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and sifting and analyzing and judging the very thoughts and purposes of the heart. The Word of God is powerful. If you receive and believe it today, it will produce wonders in your life, your body, academics, family, relationships, finances, business, everything about you. I'm referring to the Word that created the heavens and the earth. John chapter 1 verse 3. That same Word is the force that holds the planets in their place. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. The Word is incorruptible, ever-living and everlasting. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 23. It doesn't matter where you are. If you believe and trust God's Word, it will produce results. In the parable of the sower, Jesus described four scenarios wherein the seed was sown with different results. Then he said, Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Luke chapter 8 verse 11. A seed has the power to reproduce when you plant it in the right soil. The question is, is your heart the right soil today? If it is, the message will reproduce itself, just as corn seed reproduces corn. An orange seed reproduces oranges. The word of love, hope, faith, power, prosperity, truth, strength, soundness of mind and body that I bring you every day in this devotional will reproduce itself in your life if you receive and believe it. It will fill your life with the manifestation of Christ. In Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 3, the Lord warned his children Plow up the hardness of your hearts, otherwise the good seed will be wasted among the thorns, the Living Bible. I give the same charge to you today. Every day, prepare your heart for the word by speaking in other tongues. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 4 says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom. Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. Please say this confession with me. I open my heart to the word of God and receive with meekness the love, hope, faith, power, prosperity, truth, strength, soundness of mind and body that the word brings to me today. I embrace your word, which is able to make me wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. I live in joy, health, peace, and experience victory today because I live by the word. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Mark chapter 4, verses 3 to 8, James chapter 1, verse 21 and 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 15 to 17. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 28, verses 1 to 16, and Psalms chapters 26 to 29. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 23, and Isaiah chapter 43. Rhapsody of reality.